Imagine this. You wake up on an ordinary morning, pour yourself a steaming cup of coffee, and as you thumb through the day's crypto news, a headline leaps out at you. It's the kind of news that sends a jolt through your system. More than $8 billion worth of Bitcoin, mined during the mysterious, almost mythic Satoshi era, has suddenly moved after lying dormant for over 14 years. Instantly, the entire crypto community erupts. Analysts, traders, and even casual investors are glued to their screens, speculating, theorizing, and yes, some are outright panicking. Who could possibly hold this fortune? Why did these ancient coins move now, after so long? And the question on everyone's mind, what does this seismic event mean for Bitcoin, your investments, and even the global financial system itself? To understand why this moment is so electrifying, let's rewind to the very beginning, the dawn of digital money. We are going back to the period between 2009 and 2011, a time when Bitcoin was a quirky experiment, more sci-fi than finance. Back then, only a handful of visionaries, cypherpunks, cryptographers, and tech enthusiasts truly believed in the promise of decentralized money. The enigmatic Satoshi Nakamoto was still interacting with the community, posting on online forums, personally tweaking the code, and fielding questions from curious newcomers. Anyone with a modest laptop and some technical curiosity could mine Bitcoin straight from their bedroom, earning hundreds or even thousands of coins in a matter of days. It was a digital gold rush, but almost nobody knew it yet. At that time, the value of Bitcoin was almost comically low. You could buy thousands of coins for a few dollars, or even receive them for free from early online faucets designed to spread adoption. The notion that this nascent technology would one day reshape the global financial landscape seemed far-fetched, even to the true believers. Early adopters, driven more by ideals of privacy and decentralization than profit, quietly accumulated vast stashes of coins. Their digital wallets, protected by rudimentary software, became silent vaults time capsules, preserving the early days of the network. Fast forward to the present. Most of these wallets have remained untouched, sparking endless curiosity and wild speculation. Who owns them? Have the private keys been lost to time? Could some of these addresses belong to Satoshi Nakamoto himself? Whenever even a single coin from these legendary addresses moves, the entire crypto world holds its breath. Is it a harbinger of change, a coded message, or simply an old miner finally cashing in? But when, in a single day, eight separate Bitcoin wallets untouched since 2011 move a combined sum of 80,000 Bitcoins, the shockwaves are unprecedented. That's more than $8 billion at current valuations, transferred in one jaw-dropping moment. To put it in perspective, this sum is greater than the annual economic output of some small nations. It is enough to sway markets, ignite debates, and send analysts scrambling to blockchain explorers for clues. Social media platforms, especially X, formerly known as Twitter, erupted with theories. Was this the move of a legendary crypto whale preparing to sell? Could it be Satoshi Nakamoto returning from the digital shadows? Or was someone preparing to dump a vast ocean of coins onto exchanges, threatening to crash the price and trigger another cycle of crypto chaos? Rumors spread like wildfire. One user claimed to have discovered an old forum post from 2013, supposedly linking one of these wallets to a friendly transaction of one and a half bitcoins. But in the world of crypto, facts matter. Connor Grogan, director at Coinbase and a respected blockchain analyst, quickly stepped in to debunk this rumor. By referencing on-chain data, he showed that no such transaction ever occurred. His words were a timely reminder. Don't let hype override hard evidence. If these coins weren't being rushed to exchanges for a massive sell-off, what was really happening? A closer look at the blockchain revealed the real story. All 80,000 bitcoins were transferred, not to exchange addresses, but to new, more secure segregated witness, or segwit, addresses. This isn't just a technical tweak. It's a major upgrade in security, efficiency, and future-proofing. According to Arkham Intelligence, a leading on-chain analytics firm, this move likely reflects a proactive security measure. Their take, it's less about taking profits and more about protecting these holdings from emerging threats, such as the rise of quantum computing. Let's unpack this further. Early Bitcoin wallets, especially those using the so-called pay-to-public key, or P2PK, address format, exposed certain cryptographic details after their first transaction. While this wasn't a concern in 2009, today's rapidly advancing quantum computing technology could, in theory, 
one day crack these public keys. Suddenly, old wallets become vulnerable, their billions at risk. By moving their coins to SegWit addresses, which use enhanced cryptographic standards and feature more sophisticated transaction structures, these early adopters are essentially transferring their digital fortunes from a rickety old safe into a state-of-the-art steel-reinforced vault. Why now? After more than a decade of silence. The timing is intriguing. Some analysts suggest that these legendary holders are not just securing their assets. They are positioning themselves for the next phase of the crypto era. As one veteran observer said, early adopters are not exiting. They're gearing up for what comes next. They see where the world is heading and they're making sure they're ready. This is the core of the mystery. If these pioneers still believe in Bitcoin's future, their actions may signal renewed confidence. Or, perhaps, it's the calm before a new storm, a precursor to a dramatic market move. In a system where psychology matters as much as code, the implications are enormous. So what could happen next? This extraordinary movement has sparked a tidal wave of predictions, concerns, and strategy sessions. Blockchain analyst Sarah Holmes summed up the market's anxiety. If even a small fraction of these coins hit public exchanges, it could unleash a ferocious sell-off, shaking the entire ecosystem. To grasp the magnitude, consider that 80,000 bitcoins represent a significant portion of the daily trading volume across all major exchanges. Even a slight trickle could royal prices and heighten volatility. Yet so far, the evidence points elsewhere. These ancient coins are not being dumped on exchanges. Instead, they are being carefully tucked away in more modern, secure wallets. This suggests a calculated, forward-thinking strategy. By upgrading from outdated, potentially vulnerable wallets to SegWit addresses, these early Bitcoin holders are safeguarding their fortunes against both current and future threats. It's like central banks relocating gold from old vaults to high-security bunkers. Not a panic sale, but a prudent, strategic upgrade. Let's place this event in a broader context. Over the past decade, Bitcoin's ecosystem has matured at a breathtaking pace. The Wild West days, when the market was dominated by individual traders and tech hobbyists, are long gone. Today, institutional players, governments, publicly traded corporations, and multi-billion dollar exchange traded funds control a substantial portion of the total Bitcoin supply. This institutional involvement brings deeper liquidity, greater market stability, and a long-term perspective that was missing in Bitcoin's early years. Every move by early adopters is now scrutinized for signals about market sentiment and future trends. Additionally, the rise of over-the-counter, or OTC, trading desks has transformed how large Bitcoin transactions are handled. Instead of dumping coins on open exchanges and risking a price crash, sophisticated holders can negotiate private deals with institutional buyers. These transactions happen off the public radar, minimizing market disruption. Some analysts believe that the recent wallet moves could be related to such behind-the-scenes arrangements, perhaps changes in custody, estate planning, or even preparations for institutional partnerships. But the risks remain. If, at any point, these coins are sent to public exchanges, especially during periods of thin liquidity, they could spark wild price swings. History is full of examples. In previous years, the sale of large stashes of old bitcoins has sometimes triggered sharp market corrections. Conversely, if these legendary holders continue to demonstrate patience and conviction, their confidence could help cement bitcoin's reputation as a digital reserve asset, a 21st century gold. Let's not overlook the looming threat of quantum computing. Though still in its infancy, quantum technology is advancing at a remarkable pace. Experts warn that, within a few decades, quantum breakthroughs could undermine current cryptographic systems, making old wallet formats obsolete and exposing billions of dollars worth of assets. By proactively moving to quantum-resistant addresses, these early adopters are not only protecting their own fortunes, they are setting a crucial example for the entire industry. Their actions may accelerate innovation in wallet security, cryptography, and even the design of next-generation blockchains. For everyday viewers and crypto investors, these developments carry important lessons. First, the saga of Bitcoin is far from over. The actions of early adopters still cast a long shadow, but they also reflect the ongoing professionalization of the crypto world. If you own digital assets, now is the perfect time to audit your security practices. Make sure you are using up-to-date wallet software. Enable multi-factor authentication and consider using hardware wallets or multi-signature solutions. As threats evolve, so must your defenses. Second, 
Resist the temptation to be swept away by rumors or sensational headlines. The crypto world thrives on speculation, but it is disciplined research and a long-term strategy that separate winners from losers. As analysts at Glassnode have pointed out, strategic moves, not knee-jerk reactions, define smart money in this market. Take a page from the early whales. Think long-term, stay informed, and prioritize self-custody whenever possible. In the digital age, robust security hygiene is your best defense. Let's dive deeper into historical parallels. In traditional finance, the movement of large reserves, whether gold, dollars, or government bonds, has often signaled shifts in economic power or impending crises. When central banks reposition assets or upgrade their security protocols, markets pay close attention. The recent migration of Bitcoin wallets echoes these patterns. It's not just about technical upgrades. It's about signaling confidence, adapting to new challenges, and preparing for the unexpected. Consider the evolution of institutional adoption. Bitcoin, once dismissed as a fringe curiosity or even a tool for illicit activity, is now viewed by many as a legitimate asset class. Hedge funds, family offices, pension funds, and even sovereign wealth funds have entered the space. The narrative has shifted. Bitcoin is now seen as a hedge against inflation, a store of value, and a potential backbone of the future financial system. The behavior of early adopters, Upgrading wallets, securing assets, exploring discrete OTC arrangements, mirrors the strategies of traditional finance's most sophisticated players. In many ways, this is evidence of Bitcoin's growing maturity and integration into the global financial fabric. The consequences of these actions ripple outward. If other early holders follow suit and upgrade their security, we could witness a new wave of technical innovation in wallet design, key management, and blockchain infrastructure. This could attract additional institutional capital, further stabilizing the market and reducing volatility. On the other hand, if the market interprets these moves as a warning of imminent selling, it could trigger short-term turbulence before the dust settles. The interplay of these forces will shape the next chapter of Bitcoin's evolution. Let's look at some expert predictions. Many analysts believe that the quantum threat will accelerate the adoption of quantum-resistant cryptographic standards across the cryptocurrency industry. Startups and established firms are racing to develop new wallet protocols, advanced key management techniques, and even entirely new blockchains engineered to withstand future attacks. The recent migration of dormant wallets may serve as a catalyst, raising awareness and channeling investment into next-generation security solutions. Meanwhile, the influence of centralized entities, governments, ETFs, and large public corporations on the Bitcoin supply is growing. Recent reports indicate that these players now control a sizable share of all mined Bitcoin, contributing to a more stable and less volatile market environment. The presence of these institutional giants serves as a stabilizing force, balancing out the actions of individual whales and smoothing the wild price swings that once typified the crypto landscape. So what does all this mean for the average investor? Above all, it's a call for vigilance and strategic thinking. Though, no. The lessons of the Satoshi era remain clear. Fortunes are made not by chasing hype, but by staying informed, securing your assets, and playing the long game. Whether you're new to crypto or a seasoned veteran, use this opportunity to reassess your security practices, stay on top of technological developments, and think carefully about your investment timeframes. Let's expand on this with some practical advice. If you haven't already, Consider diversifying your storage options. Use a combination of hot and cold wallets and make sure your recovery phrases are stored securely, ideally offline and in multiple locations. Regularly review news from reputable sources and stay wary of phishing schemes or scams that often accompany periods of market excitement. And remember, the best protection against loss is not just cutting edge technology, but also good habits and informed decision making. Zooming out, the recent massive Bitcoin transfer is not an isolated event. It is part of a broader pattern of technological adaptation and psychological signaling. As blockchain analytics become more advanced, the transparency of the Bitcoin network means that every major movement is visible and dissected in real time. This transparency is a double-edged sword. It ensures accountability, but it also magnifies the psychological impact of large transactions. In many ways, today's market is as much about narrative as it is about numbers. It's also worth noting that the crypto ecosystem is evolving beyond Bitcoin. The emergence of Ethereum, blockchain platforms focused on decentralized finance, and a new generation of quantum-resistant coins all demonstrate the relentless pace of innovations. Each technological leap brings new opportunities and new risks. Early adopters who survived the wild volatility of previous cycles understand the importance of both adaptability and caution. Looking to the future, 
Several scenarios could play out. If the transferred Bitcoins remain in secure wallets, untouched, it could reinforce market confidence and attract further institutional investment. If, on the other hand, a portion is sold, it could test the market's resilience and liquidity. But with today's larger, more robust trading infrastructure, the impact might be less dramatic than in years past. The continuing professionalization of the industry, combined with advances in security, means that the crypto ecosystem is better equipped than ever to weather shocks. In summary, does this $8 billion transfer spell trouble for Bitcoin? Or does it signal the dawn of a new, more secure era? The overwhelming consensus from data and expert analysis is clear. This is a leap forward in both security and maturity. The migration of ancient wallets to modern, quantum-resistant addresses shows a community learning from its past, innovating for the future, and refusing to take its success for granted. The hidden truth is that many of these early whales are quietly betting on Bitcoin's brightest days still to come. Their actions represent not just self-preservation, but authentic optimism, a belief that the network will evolve, adapt, and thrive in the face of future challenges. As the world edges toward a digital financial era, the lessons of Bitcoin's early years become more valuable than ever. If you found these insights helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of money and technology. We want to hear your take. If a legendary whale made a major move, would it make you more optimistic or more nervous about the future of crypto? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next